Hello there everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I have a little special thing for you guys. It's called Heroes of Might and Magic 3 The Succession Wars. So if that doesn't make sense to you then you are absolutely correct because Heroes 3 didn't have a Succession Wars. Uh, it was from Heroes 2 and this is a wonderful mod made by some wonderful people that I will link in the description below or maybe on top of the video. We'll see. Uh, and yeah, this is exactly the music and everything as you remember from Heroes 2. Now, I personally loved Heroes 2. I, f I would say it was the game of my childhood or somewhere around those lines. It was like, this made everything seem great when I was a kid, uh, especially the fantasy world. And I actually liked the gameplay of the gameplay and the graphics of Heroes 2. Two more than I did uh, of Heroes 3 but let's go ahead and just play something as uh, you guys can see there is currently no campaign yet uh, but they are working on it uh, and it will surely be done uh, we'll probably also have multiplayer maybe we'll see let's go ahead and exit that and the tutorial I don't know that I want to start the oh there we go we're starting the tutorial oh it's missing and that's it right so let's go just go ahead and play the scenario now the scenarios that you have over here are the ones from Heroes of Might and Magic Free, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and I think these are... Are these from Heroes 1? Well, I don't know. Okay, let's not go for the hardest difficulty. Let's just play on the normal. Um, uh, King of the Hill, final victory lies... I didn't actually prepare for these, so you have to defeat a monster. I don't know which monster you have to defeat. No, no dragons, not, not the dragons. Crossroads, defeat all enemies. Sure, let's try and pick that map. Let's see advanced options. You can only play red in this map. And we have the knights with the added crossbowmen as the f because Heroes 3 has seven units uh, instead of six like um, Heroes 2 had in their in its in their castles. So the knights get the added crossbowmen, the sorcerers get the added satyrs, the wizards get the added gnomes, the necromancers have death knights, the warlocks beholders. And the barbarians get the harpies. Now, luckily enough, these guys were kind enough to provide us with two extra factions, which are going to be the witches, which is similar to uh, the fortress of Heroes 3. So these guys have tribals, wasps, lizardmen, toad, mantis, trends, and wyverns. Similar, somewhat, to the fortress. And then we've got the dervish, which is a completely new fashion, and it's made out of the... Uh, or four of the... gnome of the... Uh, rogue or neutral yeah the neutral units from heroes 2 and these have the rogues acolytes which are new nomads medusas manticores are new anubites are new and then the genies right but we're not going to play these let's just go ahead and get the the, ch the castle since we're red anyway let's play with the castle this time around i haven't actually uh, looked at, at my timer you can also uh, select your champion which is nice and they also have specialties or hero rather, not champion. Crossbowmen and marksmen. That sounds okay. Archers and rangers. Artillery. Tactics. Turn on dead. Logistics. This this sounds like a good guy to get in the beginning. Pikemen and veteran pi pikemen. Sir Gallant has peasants. Now that's that's funny. This guy has the states. Ruby has bless. Uh, this is a new hero, Mugaisa. She's got armorer. Tyro has offense. Hector archery. Dimitri. Okay, and this guy has Loki. Okay, so I think I will go for for Kratos, also a new hero. Um, let's just get a random artifact because resources are probably going to be enough. And let's go ahead and play this. As you can see, this is a completely old style of the game that you all remember. I mean, not exactly the same because some um, some sprites and textures were are missing or were not present in the whole game. Uh, and there you go, the nice old sounds. So let's go ahead and get in the castle. Now this is the city hall where you can build stuff. And this is your castle from where you recruit stuff. And there we go, we've got the crossbowmen over here, which are also upgradable, I think. They do considerably more damage than the archers. Uh, we'll see how good they are soon enough. Now the animations are a bit laggy, a bit bugged, but what can you expect? This is a uh, this is a mod for a game, right? 
Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we're going to build. We're go we are going to get the archers because we have quite enough resources. Uh, oh crap, I should have gotten the tavern. Ah, I forgot. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'll go for the tavern later. Okay, uh, what does this guy have? Leadership and logistics and we get the armored gauntlet which gives us defense skill plus one plus one i mean that's not great but what can you do right so because i didn't build the tavern like a dumbass but i am going to go for these mutant zombies i think we can take them maybe knights have no spells this actually looks great oh the peasants move a lot damn i didn't expect that you have the options similar in Heroes 3. Let's go ahead and maybe speed this up. Uh, move on Shadow. Animation speed. Let's. Oh, it is the fastest. So maybe they could work on that. Cursor Shadow, Hex Grid, Spells, Catapult, this is for auto combat. And statistics. Well, wait, cast spell, auto combat, retreat, surrender. So this looks okay, I'd say. Oh crap. Good thing that I have all those peasants over there. Is this half damage? I can't actually tell if it's half damage. Right, so I like how how these show up over here. Um so they've they've got 20 health and I'm going to do approximately 30 damage. 39 damage, which is exactly less than an ideal, but what can you do? I don't think this was No, that wasn't a good idea of me for to, to go for all these zombies, sadly. also have no spells, so this is a major fail on my part. Uh, okay, this was... what? So I should have selected something different there. Okay, no, this isn't working out for me. It's just auto combat. No, 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 don't all... wait, don't. Okay, uh, let's just retreat. So I lost that one, but it doesn't matter. Let's just restart quickly. There we go. I love the the. Yeah, let's get let's get the the tavern this time around because we need extra heroes, right? We also have the fifth guild, which is nice because uh, you have access to it right over here in your tavern. Don't have to look, look around uh, the map for it. Okay, so we can basically get this guy and get all of the peasants. Actually, yeah, actually, let's do that. Right, and then we can split them up like one by one, just like you'd usually do. I don't know why I thought that I could take those zombies so easily. Right, so this guy can go and grab these resources from over here. That's free. So he's learned slow. As you can see, the old style. Um, okay, so now we've got normal zombies, so these, these should be completely takeable, I would say. Especially since I have double the, the amount of uh, troops nowadays. Oh, and there we go, we've got a pack of mantises, which is, I think, the last unit of the witches. So that should be quite hard to get. And some tribals. I mean, the tribals should be okay, but the mantises, I don't think so. Okay. You can wait, you can flank over here. The peasants sure do move a lot, don't they? Okay, that's half move. I don't think that will get a, a half shoot shot. Yeah, we need to shoot like that. Wait, wait, defend, defend. Let's wait a bit. 
okay, I guess it's the old zombies then. Only 17 damage. These archers aren't really that good for much, are they now? Let's defend. Uh, I think we'll wait. Can we wait? Yes, we can. Defend with that guy. Um, defend. I mean, 66 damage, that's going to be three of them, which is quite okay. And then there we go, another one is going to die. Okay, let's kill another one. And we should be killing the zombies as well. If you get the uh, actually we can only kill one, so I guess that's okay. Yes, I'd much rather kill that one. Uh, so we've, we've lost one pikeman. Can we wait? Yes. Two pikemen. What can you do? These these zombies are quite buff. Uh, I guess we'll take the, the mine. And can I get another hero? Of course I can. Okay, so you also get the one unit per new hero that you buy, which is quite nice. So let's get this this guy. Uh, Crodo, which is an uh, intellect specialist, and he's also got sorcery. And what we'll do with him is... Let's... yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. Give him one peasant, and then you can have these guys as well. And that's not going to be the best of morale. But we do have plus one. I think, or at, at least uh, it should work. Oh, we've got another. Okay, and turn. Look at that, the, the hotkeys also work. So let's see, these guys already have beholders. Oh, you can actually steal, re steal stuff from them, which is nice. Should I take the dwarves, lots of dwarves? Oh, I don't like that you can't click through here. This should be changed a bit. Um, lots of dwarves. I think these are takeable, takeable as well. Because everything else looks a lot meaner, to be honest. So let's just take the dwarves right now. Um, okay, let's wait for them to advance a bit. The dwarves actually moves, move a lot more than they did in the Heroes 3 as well. So these probably have some... S okay, then don't. Uh, this mod probably has a lot of uh, improvements to it. There we go, now the dwarf is dead. There's, they've also got uh, 20 X, uh, HP. Let's wait. Let's wait as well. Wait. And let's put the peasants down. I don't like that this uh, stays open, right? You have to click the OK button. This shouldn't be the case. It should be just a normal right click to hold the right click to have it open and then, yeah. But, uh, 8, 12, I'm not going to kill those guys. Let's defend. Wait, wait. Ah, crap. 
So let's go ahead and uh, try to kill these. Am I going to lose again? This, this is a hard map, man. Should have moved. Kill that guy. Uh, kill these guys. Should have moved my piper. That that loss was unnecessary, to be honest. Move out of there. I think. Yes, they can't reach us for now. This guy is almost dead. No, no, no. We need to take care of the ones up there. Free, but how much have you got? Oh, you can take a hit. There we go. So I didn't lose, but uh, it wasn't easy either. Um. Well, that's crap. I guess I can take the XP because it's really not needed. Anything else isn't I needed. Oh! Fairy ring. Plus one luck. I didn't know that. So let's go ahead and take that. Uh, what else? This is this is a hard map. But anyway, you guys get the gist of it, right? I would think that you do. Uh, we'll need to get the archers. What do we need for the oh what do we need for the watchtower? The blacksmith. So we'll need to get blacksmith net next turn. There we go. This is my main right. Yes, 20 peasants. So we'll need to kill some of these genies. And the problem with genies is that they have the their having or having halving property, which is not nice at all. I keep Okay, let's build the... Uh, yeah, let's just build the, the god house. I mean, pikemen should also help as well. Right, um... Does this guy have any spells, actually? Mm, oh, he has cold ray. Well, that's a nice thing to have, actually. I think I might just break through with this guy. Uh... Lots of rangers. Can you actually use space to revisit something? Yes. So that's great because Heroes 2 didn't have it. Okay, uh, let's see what... Oh! We already have some movement over there. Uh, right, so I'll definitely, definitely need to get the watchtower. The blacksmith gives you a ballista if you like one. I think I would. I've got enough money, why not? Uh, let me get everything that I can extra. Because the genies can be devastating. And now... Do I want to kill the genies? No, I don't think that I want to go this way because I've, saw, I've seen some enemy movement. Uh, I might want to go to the left over here. Let's see what's over here. I don't know, maybe. Oh, look at that. The sawmill is the one from Heroes 1. That brings memories. Several pack lots. Mm. We'll see. So we'll try to go next turn for the genies. Not there. Not, not, yes, go for the genius. Build the watchtower. We only get five of these guys, but they should make a difference. Uh, I'm going to go like that. Yes, I would say that that should work out. Um, you know what? I'll probably let Crodo try this because. Well, because. Can you use... No. You can't actually use uh, the keyboard to transfer stuff easily. What's this? Quest log. Oh. Is it the same quest log or...? Uh, 
So let's see if Krolu can do it because he's got that uh, spell. Let's go ahead and save. Why not? Not auto save. Let's go for fun. Why not? And let's see if we can get these guys. So they're coming. Oh crap, no. Okay, so they are pretty hard to kill, but at least I can get one with each call ray. Um, yeah, let's get this one. That's cool. Uh, let's try and flank my, uh, my guys over there. This isn't going to be enough damage. Can I wait? I can wait, I think. And this guy is as good as dead, so let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh. 61 damage. Uh, HP left. That wasn't that much. And he can do a maximum of 29, and he's got 29, so I need a very good luck draw. Wasn't. And it was 27! Wait, 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 what happened? Shrivel with age and lose 7 HP hit points. So... Oh! So they... Okay, so this is a new ability. 20% chance to age enemy. So okay, so they took out the having uh, uh, mechanic that they had. Which was frankly overpowered, but hey, what can you do? Um, right, so these are all a bit low life. Let's go ahead and target the one that's higher, highest life. 78, 74... 84, I think this one's it. So let's go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, this one's 2 HP. Yes, so let's kill him. And then this guy's 74 and this guy's 78. So this is my next target. Thirty-one. Um, let's just move them. 26 and the last one can kill that. There we go. <clears throat> Not the best of battles, but we, we actually did it. Should I keep Crodo as my main? I think spellcasters are a bit better in this game, honestly. Let's just go ahead and take the XP. Advanced sorcery, that's good. Mysticism. Actually, this is good as well. Oh! Basically, we're another hero to learn further level spells. So let's get that as well. Oh, and we've got enemies. Lots, several, pack, few. And an artifact. Let's go ahead and um, get some resources. This really brings back memories. I mean, it's it's great that these guys have done this. Uh, and I have no... He's got hit, uh, spell points, I have no spell points. Um, which was... This is a hard map. <laughs> let's go ahead and flank them. Uh, let's try and flank my archers as well. Okay, so that's, that's basically GG. But you guys guessed, get the gist of it. How is this map so hard? Damn it. Let's just run. <laughs> that, that wasn't... Okay, uh, you start off in the middle and you're surrounded by enemy units. By, uh, by by strong units, I mean. And the enemies are just... to just start off around you, I think. Oh, I can't pass. Impassable stuff. Is there underground in this game? There might be underground. Let's just go ahead and try a new scenario. But you guys get the gist of it. Um, Wow, that was a that was a hard map. Do you guys remember Alex the Jerk? That was that was also a fun map. You can only play Barbarian. I guess let's just go ahead and try and play this. So, the two castles are right next to each other, but in order to, for you to get to you, to the enemy, you have to basically go around the whole map doing stuff. Uh, what do these harpies do? They strike in return. 
they've got decent, decent health, decent damage, I would say. Yeah. What's her specialty? It's exactly Harpies. And she's got Expert Wisdom? Wow. That's interesting. Immune to Berserk spells, that's shit. These are the units, and I think this is the Town Hall. Yes, that's the Town Hall. Um, this is also a hard map, but I'm just showing you guys around. Do I have the tavern? Yes, I do have the tavern. Let's see who this guy is. He's got money specialty and pathfinding and estates. Uh, I mean, that's good. Jo Josh, that's a nice name. And the necromancer, which has logistic specialty. Interesting. Did I recruit everything? Yes, I did. A few air elementals. I mean, that's not hard then. A throng of those guys. Let's see what skill we get. A ballistics or luck? I will take luck, thank you. And let's check out... How much money does this guy give me? 350 per day and another 20, 125. So that's like... That's quite, quite a bit. Let's see if we get advanced. We didn't. It was worth checking out. Checking it out. Yeah, let's kill these. Uh, 35 HP, 228, 7 speed, immunity are vulnerable to lightning elemental. These are air, air elementals. No spells as one would expect. Okay, so this isn't good. that sound I loved the sound that they used to make so this should kill both of them if I'm not mistaken there we go uh, at least one dies go for the skeletons let's see if we can if I can build anything else over here I can build the bone nest sure let's get those bad girls in uh, a wizard basic fire magic and dragon slayer specialty this this is an incredible uh, port I, I'll have to say I really like it let's get these in Okay, that's a that's a bit of a bug. This is still in beta, by the way. It's not a finished um, product, so to say. Um, let's go ahead and uh, upgrade anything that we can. Oh, we can actually upgrade these guys. That's nice. And the throng of, of skeletons shouldn't be a problem, honestly. Um, I will kill a lot of them, but they will strike me back. I might lose one. Let's just wait a bit. Wait again. That's cool. Defend. Well, I mean, how much is that? That's like ten, but it's a double. It's a double attack. So I lost one. And then here I will probably lo oh nice luck and I didn't lose anything so let's go ahead and kill these because they are the most biggest tech um, thanks seems that I'm pretty lucky and we only lose one wolf which is okay I guess uh, I'll have to get those to get through let's see what this gives us Basic Scholar allows heroes to teach each other first and second level spells, effectively training spells. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and plunder our way over there on top. Let's get another hero. Sure, a wizard will do, why not? And this guy... This guy should also get plunder, right? Because he's all, uh, not plunder, um, Scholar. Yeah, I think that's a good decision. 
This is a good artifact to have, I think. Oh, one defense. I mean, it's not that bad. Let's get XP on, on my main. No, not the states. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, so this guy needs to get the mine. Okay, so there's little space to be had. Advanced Wisdom, that is okay. Uh, what I'm trying to do with this hero is make him a scholar, like have Expert Scholar and Expert Wisdom so that you can just buy heroes that have good spells and then, you know, not use them when you don't need them. That's, uh, that's what I'm going for. What can I build? I think I should go... What does the emergency room does? Okay, you can flee. Trade resources, uh, trade creatures for resources and then get extra goblins. Uh, can I actually get this? No, I can't. So let's just go ahead and improve our whole town. Oh, this is, this is actually great. I don't think that I need to go there. Um, let's see what spells we've got. I can pick that up. I think I should be saving for a boat. No, I can't actually have a boat. Oh, Mage Guild. That's nice. I mean, it looks nice. It looks like in Heroes 3, but it has this, the Heroes uh, 1 spells, which is great, obviously. Uh, this guy... This guy can just pick off resources. They don't move a lot, do they? But this is on protection from water. Let's go ahead and get the other spells as well. Yes, you need the spell book. And then let's gather everything that we can. We also have an artifact, I don't know what, what that is. Um, let's just wait over here. Anyway, obviously. No. That would have been good to get, actually. Right. Uh, well, that's not really good. I didn't actually check how many th those were. This is great. This brings back so many memories, and it runs. Good enough, I would say. They should all die, right? Oh, they have 2 HP now. They used to have 1 HP. So they used to be even worse than they are now. Probably shouldn't be able to kill a dog. I think that they can actually 20. No, they've got one attack. And I'm going to get like most of them. They killed a wolf? Damn, wait, I need to see this one. So it does 40 damage, which is which is a really low uh, amount. And then they do 36 back. They almost killed two. Let's go ahead and uh, preserve our wolves because they are quite important. Damn. There we go, that was nice. So this guy can... What do what now? Oh, take these. Oh, they have both of them. So on the old maps, they actually have some of the old mines, which is nice. As you saw there, that was the normal mine for it. Let's get the city hall. 
and then this guy can I don't know what can he do well not much at this point nice can actually kill these guys lots of archers I don't think that I can do it actually capital castle we need a lot of uh, stone to do this blister oh I wonder what the normal workshop gives to you then resource silo this gives wood and ore that's good to have let's just upgrade the castle a bit so now it's got a moat this is great, but I, I have to stop because uh, it's going to be an hour soon. Um, this looks great. I'm going to go ahead and save the map. Maybe I'll play it. Fun too. Actually, this is fun. Actual fun, because the first one was not fun. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, if you guys want to see more of this, uh, I'll probably do a live stream if at all possible and just play through one of these maps from, end, uh, from beginning to end. Uh, I could also do some special episodes with the two extra castles, like the Witch Castle and the, the, the Dervish Castles. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody for watching and listening. Hit the like button if you've liked this video, or dislike button if you didn't like it. And also, if you'd like to see more from me, just uh, hit the subscribe button. So, thanks. Goodbye.